Jeremy Flores coming in to a happy French crowd here because the home team's gonna have a player in the final. That must feel so good too, to know that and you've carried on that flag. Uh, we saw the disappointment from Joanne DeFay earlier. Uh, you know, feeling like she was gonna bring it home as well, but you know what? Hats off to Joanne, she had a great run. And now Jeremy is in the finals and he is gonna be waving that flag straight through. And who's he gonna meet? Who's he gonna meet? One of these two guys, Italo Ferreira or Leo Fervanti Ferreira starts off with the left, pumping down the line, looking for a ramp, no doubt, but he's gonna go rampless as he kicks out of his first wave. Well, Italo is in a situation where it's gonna be very, very helpful for him if he can get into the final to start talking about title talk. Highest seed left in the event, Italo Ferreira, currently number five on the Jeep leaderboard. Big opportunity for him to start catching up to Jordy Smith, as well as Felipe Toledo. A couple of heats watching, watching Kolohe, you know, bow out this morning, as well as Jordy. Now Italo's trying to catch fire on some of these lefts. Big oh. straight air. Oh. <laughs> oh, how's the pop? I mean, it, it, literally that section didn't even look like a really uh, high energy section, and he still got six feet out. Maybe sometimes do a little a couple, bit of the judgment. A couple but. bleepers in there sometimes, but you know what? I love it. That's, that's him holding It's pure, out. right? It's, it's on pure. his sleeve. It's on his lung. He's on his tongue. Let's see what this little man's got right here. Ferreira, big air, has to throw it away. Watch the fins, however. Board flipped over. It looks like he just avoided contact. I must say, it's it's probably a little cold. Is it? He's least, not 100%. Yeah, at least it's not a cut, because that, at that point, you probably see him not surfing. But now, he's going to be out there, and he's going to grin and bear it. Keep us entertained. With his leg to his board, and someone's up and running right now. It is Italo. Is he going to find the ramp? Goes for the big float. Uh oh. Doesn't make that one, but yeah, guys, Italo, he's he's a madman. All right, Rosie down there handling uh, that crowd, authoritative with the board. That's really where the fatigue comes in. Yes, there is the physical fatigue, but the mental fatigue is just literally your brain on overdrive. Let's see how Italo looks. Stomps that backhand Rio in a difficult, difficult section. Full shore dump strider, but Ethelo was able to ride out of that maneuver. That's going to be the highest single wave score so far. Hopefully not break his board. We'll get a quick replay. He just doesn't even go to the bottom of the wave, though. He, I mean, he had to get to the lip line as fast as possible so that he could get back down to control the maneuver for a completion. And I think that's what will affect the score slightly, you know, because it's hurried. It's not like that traditional nice, solid bottom turn into a section. You know, a mid-face bottom turn, the speed wasn't as, as high as it could have been because he had to do everything so quickly. But he's competing, and he knows that this situation could be where he could get down to five minutes, and all of a sudden, that's a score he needs. Fioravanti, double pump bottom turn right up in the lip and handles that for his own completion. So nice exchange between Nicolo Ferreira and Leo Fioravanti, who got the better. Similar rides, but you'd say that there is a much more committed bottom turn out of Leo. Very similar styles of turns, a little tail tapping, front side against back side. So there is differences there, but it is one solid maneuver. Front row seats, as you see the crowd right you got to start using your elbows bleachers. a little bit to get in there, to get the view, or be tall. Ferreira. Off the bottom, big section, snaps it, times it a little bit early, but also goes complete. Italo falls out of the sky, and, and he's looking for a connection, but I feel like uh, what Pete said, he, he was a little... Fioravanti, stalling for the barrel, finds a home in the barrel, finds an exit, straight to the lip for the completion. Another great exchange between our two circles. Electrifying the beach, that's what he wants to do. Get the crowd involved, because that's going to affect Italo as well to the lip line, whereas here with, with Leo, he finds the wall, gets the barrel, and, and he actually comes out to finish with a turn, a maneuver after, which is really hard to do out here. There's so you know, little distance between you and the beach it is to have the prowse and the kind of cat-like reflex to come out and then throw it right back into the lip. It is really going to get you a big score right on the set. October 14th, Soundwaves from WSL Studios is going to be streaming live. Streaming down the line, Italo Ferreira hacks one off the top, back up into the lip, straightens out and goes complete Italo Ferreira, who's currently trailing Leonardo Fioravanti while we're at their break point five on his last effort. Here's a replay of Ferreira, Peter. Going to turns. The layback snap there, and then 
straight into the lift. I mean, there may have been an opportunity for a little arm drag stall barrel there, but Italo going, nope. Breaking away from Fioravanti, who has priority. Italo finds that left, finds the barrel, can he find an exit? And there's no way he's gonna make it out of that one. Leo right behind him, whacks it on the backhand. One time, off the bottom again for a second hook. Oh, Gets caught up in the foam and goes down. A bit of a battle here for priority. And with this nine minutes, it's kind of an important one. This turn was vicious. Straight up into the ball, slams it. A little late. So I think that's where the the, the, the scale was set. On. It mistimed it a bit, I'd say. So that's why the, the score was subdued. Ferreira. Just a hook off the top to begin with. Back up to the left. Oh, and that was an aggressive finish for Italo Ferreira. 4.67 is his requirement. That's what he brings. I mean, he can literally jump from the bottom of the wave into the lip. No, but seriously, look, he's sitting off the bottom for a second here, and he's like eyeing it. And all of a sudden, he just jumped to lip. Yeah! <laughs> so cool. Well, that's what the judges want. Vertical surfing on sections of consequence, and that's exactly what he did. So, 4.67 oh. is the question, though. Yes. Did, did he perform to a 4.67? Peter says yes. Strider, what do you say? I think he did. I think he was just so quick to the lip. And watch how gnarly the section is. I mean, he's throwing it up there into the lip really late. And controlled. Straight into live action with Leo Fioravanti. Right-hand barrel. Rumi barrel has to get going. And he just gets smashed in the shore break. That was a beautiful line on that wave. If he could have somehow found an exit, he was going excellent. Little change for Caroline, you know, going to that rounded pin. Similar shortboard design, just a little different tail design. Ferreira packing a closeout. Last wave for Ferreira, 5.43. Italo Ferreira with his performance on that left takes the lead from Leo Ferravanti. I'm, I'm really impressed with just how well so he's true. And he's only 21 years old. And he's got a nugget. Look at this thing. Talk about nugs. Talk about barrels coming through there. Ferravanti once more down the line. The wave splits into two. He skips that section. Throws the air. Oh, is that complete, though? Ran out of water. 5.1 is the number, though. He might have done it just with the barrel. Well, that arm drag again, the technique there on the forehand, able to put that, when you're going slower, you can put that arm in. It's a big anchor that slows you down. And that's to maximize the tube. And then the air reverse, I mean, in my eyes, it's not a completed ride. You've got to ride out into the sand. Yeah, it did run out of water, but it's the drone angle. This will tell all right here. Uh, we'll get to see the, the maneuver, the rotation, clicks onto it, comes out of it, and then hurls <laughs> onto the sand. I mean, this is literally. How do you go complete? Do you just have to ride straight onto the sand? How do you go complete there? You, you don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, you pick a wave that'll give you some more water, I guess. But I love the commitment that he's doing here. I mean, and he did, he'll get some credit for, for the rotation out in the land. Check the fins. He got a credit of a 4.3, so not enough harsh. for Leonardo Fioravanti. Oh. Here he goes. Looking left. Fioravanti, 5.1 is the number. Starts off with a snap on the oh. back and it falls. Well, that's the heat right there. Hitler wants to know what happened. You made the final, Italo. <laughs> yep. Good work. <laughs> you have a chance to win the Quicksilver Pro. Well, we're going to start with our women's final coming up next. Carissa Moore versus Caroline Marks. Our men's final is all set. We're just going to be Jeremy Flores versus Italo Ferrer.